We are gathered here today to celebrate the coming together of all of these diamonds to create a beautiful diamond painting. <laughs> Welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne and I've got one section left to complete on this diamond painting by Diamond Art Club. If you are not interested in watching the whip and chat part of this video, then you can skip ahead to see the finished result where I'll show you the whole picture. Removing this release paper and revealing the last section of this painting. And I kept this section because the end of the canvas here didn't really have a lot of detail in this corner. So I decided to keep this section where you can see more of the floral effect to finish the video. So how are you all? I hope you're all well. And I'm so pleased to have you with me while I complete this diamond painting. And I will show you at the end of the video the whole picture and the leftover diamonds and the junk tray and give you all of those sorts of details. I hope that you've enjoyed doing your own diamond painting since we last spoke and do let me know what you've been working on. I always love to hear from you and thank you to those that commented after the last video and let me know what you're doing. I do love looking up different diamond paintings from different places and I have been busy busy so the news that I've got is that I have been wanting to try some different diamond painting companies that I've not tried before so for example I recently posted home craftology kits the unboxings for those so that was really interesting for me and I hope that you found that interesting too going on to this swirly symbol here yeah, so I've been having a little look around and trying to work out which diamond painting companies to try because I'd like to inform you of places that maybe you've not heard of either um, just to change it up a little bit and to discover these different companies. So watch out in the, in the near future, I'll say, for some different diamond painting companies to be unboxed. I am just waiting for them to arrive. So that's rather exciting. And yes, I thought, especially after finishing a Diamond Art Club one, because I know that um, there are real followers of Diamond Art Club and I cannot blame you at all. The diamonds in this kit, the canvas in this kit have been incredible and I've enjoyed every minute of it. So my intentions for looking for new companies is really because when we're spending a considered amount on a diamond painting, especially at the moment with the way that the economics are in the world, we really want it to be a considered purchase where Perhaps you want to be a bit more informed before you spend that money on diamond painting to know if you're going to like the finished result. We can all buy budget diamond paintings which don't have the same investment in it. And there's nothing wrong in that. I love a budget diamond painting and I do go onto Amazon and I have got a diamond painting wish list on there it is open to the public so you can actually see what's in my wish list on Amazon and I do like to keep my eye on sorry nudging that diamond into place because you ran away I do like to keep my eye on it with Amazon because they're always seems to be changing their pricing and their availability etc so I may well see a painting that I like pop it into my wish list and then just watch it for a while to see if the price gets even better and also to see if I really want that painting because when you're looking at paintings, if you're anything like me, you'll be like, ooh, and ah, and ooh, and then do you really want it or is it just something that you've not seen before? Because I think when we're looking at paintings, I'm sometimes attracted to things just because they're new that I've not seen the design for. 
a lot of the designs seem to be, I'm not going to use the word common, but I see them often when I'm searching. And that, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that I want to see new designs to get excited about. But in that excitement, in that excitement, I just want to make sure I'm excited about the picture rather than excited because I've not seen the design. I hope that makes sense. Sorry about that. My camera decided to take a nosedive there. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was, I want to make sure that I'm excited about the design rather than being excited because I've not seen it before. That's what I mean. So I might pop it in my wish list and then if I, if I go back and have a look and think, ah, yes, I actually really do want this before I make a purchase. It's not as considered with a budget buy. So sometimes I might purchase them and then put them in my stash for another time. But when we are making a more considered purchase, and I would say anything over mm, 40, 50 pounds, I would say is considered, then it's nice to be a little bit more informed about the diamond painting company or about how their diamonds are, what the canvases are like. And that's why I find the whip and chats or the review videos on YouTube really useful to see that information and to see the finish of the picture as well before going to a company and spending money. So I hope that you find my videos useful for that as well. We can, get, we can gain a little bit of information from unboxing. They tend to be first impressions because until you actually do the diamond painting to see how the canvas is, for example, my faraway tree unboxing, when I started it, I was then disappointed. So yeah, so unboxing videos are more like first impressions and that lovely feeling when you see the canvas for the first time and see the actual chart of the picture and oh, see all the details. I love that moment. Yes, yeah, so that's the reason why I've been looking at different companies, because if you've also seen them and wondered what their diamond paintings would be like, then um, I'm here to help. <laughs> and it's a good excuse. No, no, not really. Yes, really. <laughs> oh, you'll know that feeling. Do we need an excuse to buy new diamond paintings? Yeah, well, sometimes we do feel like, um, if you're anything like me, thinking, oh, I've spent quite a lot of money on diamond paintings this time, I might need a break. And then you see a design and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> and talk yourself into it. Give yourself the justification of buying a kit. <laughs> uh. But going back to Amazon, I have seen a, a few kits that are really well priced. So I know, I absolutely know I'm going to go back and actually purchase them. So when they're um, less than five pounds, you know, that's a little treat, isn't it? Little treat. So watch out for some more unboxings coming up soon. And as I say, some will be more considered and some will be budget if I go ahead and purchase from Amazon. <laughs> of course, it's my birthday this month. It is October. So... I'm going to just treat myself to a few budget diamond paintings for my birthday. Why not? So I did post the Libra section of the Spell Queen canvas that I've been doing the Zodiac Circle. I hope if you are a Libra, that you enjoyed the video and that you recognised yourself. 
<laughs> I do find them really fun to do. Um, I did realise, by the way, that I do divide the viewership on those by 12 because obviously there's 12 zodiac signs, so not everybody will watch those videos. But, you know, I find them fascinating to do, so it might not help my channel algorithm much, but that's not what it's about, is it? It's about sharing some information and having fun while we diamond paint. So, yeah, I'm going to continue all the way through the Zodiac, even though the views are not that high on those ones. If you do watch the Zodiac Circle series, then please do share, because that might help with my algorithm. And um, thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. Much, much, much appreciated. And yeah, I'm in the 900s now. I'm absolutely thrilled. I never ever thought I would get so many people. So thank you so much. Hmm. I did go and see my mum after work one day last week. And whilst I was there, my mum and my mum-in-law live next door to each other. I know, can you believe it? That's not how me and my husband met either. My mum and my mum-in-law moved next door to each other after my husband and I were married and luckily they do get on. <laughs> so I went to see my mum and of course I saw my mum-in-law at the same time and my mum-in-law told me that her, so let me get the, re the relationships right, her brother's wife watches the channel so hi Kim, if you're watching, <laughs> nice to see you. But it gave me a really funny feeling. Oh, and she also said that her sister, June, hi June, her sister watches too. And yeah, it gave me a really funny feeling because when I'm sat here talking to you guys, you know, I class you all as friends and I love to share news and I love to hear from you too. But hearing that family are watching just made me feel a bit strange. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. It's out there. Anyone can watch. It's just, I suppose, when people know you in real life, as it were. Yeah. It's. I'm not going to say it's embarrassing, but... Well, is it is it embarrassing? Yeah, maybe a little bit, um, but I love it, you know? And so I'm out there being a diamond painter, doing my thing, and if anybody wants to watch from the family, they're very welcome. I'm just going to pull a few of these green ones out because this, this color here has quite a few dimply diamonds. And as I'm getting to the end of them, there are more because I haven't pulled them all out yet. And it, weirdly, it just seems to be this particular colour. So, yeah, so I'll pull those four out. And I'm just doing that because when you multiplace, it's harder to pick out the right amount of diamonds if you've got some bubbly ones in between them. If you single place, then you might not even want to pull the um, junk diamonds out. That's up to you. I'm always wanting to pull the junk out so that I can show you at the end of the video how much junk I had in the whole kit. So that we will see that at the end of this whip and chat part of the video. Going on to this sort of a, quite an emerald green looking. Ooh, the rain's just started. Can you hear that? It's sort of sunshine and showers at the moment in the UK and we have needed the rain, so I'm not going to complain. 
so a little bit of rain I know but when you want to get your washing dry and you don't want to use your tumble dryer anymore because of the energy prices it's a little bit tricky so I've got wet washing hanging up in the house at the moment I am being really careful about the energy price you know so I'm not using the tumble dryer too expensive right let's do these teas another pretty green these are all of the floral background details in this part of the canvas So what are the news? Oh, well, we got our decorating finished. Did you see the picture I put on the community page? Sorry. This one has bubbles in it as well. So I'm going to remove that one. I am very, very fussy when it comes to my diamonds, by the way. So any little imperfections and I'll remove it. Um, yes. So did you see the photo I put on my community page? I painted, well, I say I, my husband <laughs> painted the walls this nice blue colour, really nice blue. It's like a warm blue, it's, it's gorgeous. And we finally got my Crystal of Enchantment picture from Diamond Painting Deutschland. Got it up on the wall. It's been framed for ages so it has been framed for a long time, but just not hung. And now it's on the wall. Yay. I will put that as a photo on screen, just in case you can't access the community page. Because I know if you watch, is it on an iPad or a phone that you can't actually see the community page? And that's a shame, isn't it? So uh, I will put the photo up on screen for you. And I also realised I haven't done a survey for ages either. So <laughs> when I remembered that I hadn't done a survey for ages, I did have a little chuckle to myself and wondered whether to do a survey saying, should I do a survey, yes or no? <laughs> and that made me giggle a little bit. But I didn't do it because I just thought you might think I was a bit silly. <laughs> Honestly, if you watch my channel a lot, you'd know I'm a bit silly anyway. <laughs> so I'm not going to get worried about the fact that you'll think I'm silly. So, but now I've had an idea of what survey I'm going to do next. So if you can see my community tab, then watch out for that. Um, not sure when I'll put that on because, yeah, I, I need to get things first. But... <laughs> I haven't forgotten. I am still thinking about that side of things. And I did wonder, I'm not sure if winter's the best time, to be honest, but I did wonder whether to do a live. Ah, I know I've talked about it before. The, the, I think the thing that puts me off doing a live is the fact that I don't think I'd be able to diamond paint a lot because I'd be wanting to see your comments and reply to them. And I'm sure I've said before, it would feel a bit like juggling, but I'd love to be able to interact with you all. So my head's still thinking about that as well. We'll see. We'll see how the channel develops and what we can do with it. I feel it's a channel for everyone because I love the community that we've got going on this channel. So thank you again for your comments and likes, etc. Um, so if you do want to see a particular something, then let me know. I've always said this channel is not just about me. It's about us all because we all love diamond painting and we all think the same way about it, I'm sure. 
We may have differing opinions about different diamond painting companies, but we all love the craft of diamond painting. Now, going back to the Libra video, the Libra video talked about overthinking. I am a Libra, it is my birthday this month. And um, that really is me, the overthinking side of it. And that's how I came to start diamond painting. Well, I started because my son actually found the craft and I watched him do it and said, oh, I have to have a go at that, that looks fab. That looks just what I'd love to do. And so after the first one I did, I realized just how good it is to be able to switch off. So if you are an overthinker like me, then perhaps that's, that helps you. Um, we know that this craft is so good for mindfulness and well-being. And it did make me wonder about how many people who are watching came to it for the mindfulness aspect of things. Now, I don't expect you to put anything very personal in the comments. Um, but if you want to, please do feel free to share that with me. I'd love to know if you find the health benefits of diamond painting a benefit. Um, I definitely do. It stops, you know, my overthinking sort of stems from if I have a problem or even if I have a decision to make, my head goes round and round and round and round in circles and doesn't really go anywhere. It just circles round to the nth degree. And then once I've made a decision or I've thought of a solution, I can put it to bed then, I can relax about it. But during that thinking process, I find it really difficult to get out of my own head. And diamond painting helps me with that because I can sit here and let my mind just relax and I just enjoy it so much. I just find diamond painting so relaxing. And I think for me, the different colors gives me some sort of color therapy. I just can sink into each one. And I know it sounds a bit strange. Um, you can call me strange, I don't mind. <laughs> um, but I don't know if it's working with the beauty of colours and it's it makes me open my eyes to the colours around us as well, outdoors um, or even on the television. If somebody's wearing something really bright or I just notice colour more than I ever did before diamond painting. And it gives me a boost. It sort of gives me that feel good factor. And... I wonder how many of you it does the same for and I really, really, really hope it does because it's got such a benefit to it. We're not just creating pictures that other people can admire and that we love, but there's something more to it. There's definitely something more to diamond painting that I think a few of us or well-informed diamond painters do appreciate because I think every diamond painter is well informed and very clever. <laughs> the fact that we've come to the craft and love it so, how can we not be? But yeah, I wonder if there's been any studies into it, into how this affects the brain, because there, there must be, there must be something that it does for us that we are aware of but don't really know the scientific reasons behind it. So sometimes when, when I'm not videoing that is because when I'm videoing I'm obviously concentrating on um, what I'm telling you because words are so important they really are important. So when I'm sat on my own diamond painting and then I'm, I'm letting my mind wander it sometimes helps me come to decisions and or helps me solve problems I think it's because my head is somewhere else my head is on my diamond painting and my colors and it's a bit like not seeing the woods for the trees isn't it when you're trying to focus on something non-stop and not obsessing but all I can say is focus over focusing on it then the answers can't seem to manifest 
but getting my head off things and taking some time for me really, really, really helps me. So I hope it does the same for you if, if you have that as well. Right. Oh, we've only got one colour left. Do you know, this has been a lot quicker than I thought it was. It's all of the colour blocking, isn't it? So much quicker when we're colour blocking rather than the confetti. Oh, I can't wait to show you the whole picture. Really, really fabulous. I'm hoping to get a complete from the ceiling view of this. We'll see how we get on. Um, I've not given you a full complete view from overhead, you know, for this diamond painting. So I'm hoping to get that for you. I think this camera is drooping again. Just bear with me one moment. Okay, I think that's a bit better. Might have to invest in a new camera stand because this one seems to want to go to sleep. <laughs> Unless I'm putting it asleep with my whip and chat. I mean, come on, camera stand. <laughs> so, October, can you believe it? I don't, I really, really don't know where this year has gone. It has just zoomed. Wow. So have you been buying any Halloween kits? It's now October or autumn kits as well. If you're not into spookiness. Um, I know Diamond Art Club have done some quite late new arrivals for Halloween. I think if you pre-ordered, I don't think you would have got them in time for Halloween. Um, but there were some lovely designs. I've got my eye on one of them. And I'm umming and ahhing, doing my thing about making decisions. Because as I say, I've got quite a lot coming at the moment from different companies. But... I'm loving Diamond Art Club at the moment. So we'll wait and see. Do you know what? I've got some really old wax in this diamond pen and it's doing wonders. I thought I might have to change it, but um, I am pleasantly surprised. What I am finding with these diamonds as I'm getting to the end, can you see that they are stuck together quite a bit? Can you see that I've got like clumps, little clumps going on? Let's pop some more in. Again, when it's not so bad if you're single placing, but when you're multi-placing, it's actually really annoying when you're having to try and find diamonds around the clumps and I'm not quite sure why it's doing that I don't think I've had any glue you know like sometimes when you um, put diamonds on and then you have to remove them for whatever reason and then they've got a little bit of glue residue and if you put them back in your storage it can make them stick together well I don't think I've got any of that going on it's just, I don't know, maybe it is a little bit of static because if I push them gently, they come apart like that one did then. Let's see. Let's have a look at this one. If I push on it, it just comes off. Hmm. I'm not really quite sure. Let me know if you've ever experienced that before. Maybe it is just a little bit of static. Because this was a big packet of diamonds as well. So it was in one of the really big containers. Might 
just need to use my shovel a little bit on this edge. Just to make sure that they're really nicely lined up. And I haven't got a frame for this picture yet either. So um, I'll have to keep my eyes open. I think a very modern, shiny black frame. You know, like, because I think this is quite reminiscent of the posters. I think it's because it's so bright. And um, I think a nice, glossy, simple, modern frame for this one. And they are really not expensive either. And I think it would finish it off to perfection, especially having the dark edging. Lovely. So what else have I been up to this week? What else have I been up to? Well, working. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty much all work, no play. Don't think I've been anywhere apart from to see my mum. No, I haven't. Definitely not. So, yeah, a quiet week for me. That's probably why I've got so much of this done and able to do the video for you today. So there are some benefits. So we've also been discussing how I can do my diamond painting as it gets colder, because in the conservatory it gets cold um, and dark at night very early and so normally I have to stop doing such big diamond paintings and go to smaller ones to be able to sit in the spare room at my desk. The reason I can't do big ones on there is because the desk drops down. I think I spoke about this in a different whip and chat. The top drops down um, like an old euro type so it's got a back on. So unless I roll the diamond paintings as I complete them then it's difficult to keep them flat. And I don't always like to roll my canvases depending where they're from. I would roll this one and I would roll them from Dreamer Designs. Um, but apart from that, I'm always a little bit nervous of doing so. So I may well be getting a new table to put into the lounge. And we were discussing how it, I could have it so that it wouldn't look scruffy all the time because, you know, I don't want just a table with all my diamond painting on it in the lounge. Um, so we talked about getting like a shelving unit to divide the room, but still have it so that I can have the window and be able to see the telly if Nick's there on an evening and things like that. So, yeah, so I might have to look out for like a screen or some sort of shelving unit to separate the room out, find a nice table um, or a desk and be able to diamond paint in there. So that's quite exciting because it means it opens up another space for me. So you may well see some videos from there once it gets into the deep winter because it means I'll be able to continue diamond painting on an evening after work Whereas at the moment, I can't do that because it gets too dark and cold in here. So, yeah, that space may well develop. Now I'm on to this last tiny bit of section here. So if you've seen my videos before, you'll know to get some Tic Tac boxes or storage boxes ready as we head into the end of this Diamond painting. Ooh. I can't believe we're finally at the end of this one. This has given me absolute joy. Every diamond, every step of the way of this diamond painting has been incredible. I have loved every minute of it. So, tic tac boxes at the ready. And, yeah! We have a finish! We have a finish, just making sure they're all in properly. I have got a bit of wax there, 
So let's finish it nicely, remove that bit of wax. Okay, we put these diamonds away. I'm going to quickly do my shove along the bottom. And then in stone magpie tradition, sweetie time. There, we've got lots of sweeties to choose from today. So pick a favourite. Which one do you think you would like best? Ooh, I'm spoiled for choice. I think it might have to be Little Piggy. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> so I'm going to have that. And this was a useful thing for my magpie tray because I haven't needed it for much junk. I'll show you the junk that this whole kit has created there. So <laughs> that's it. That's the only junk I have found in the whole kit as I've been diamond painting. Not bad, is it? And that's only been a recent one. As you saw, four of those were from today. <laughs> so it really wasn't worth using my massive magpie feather for. So I hope that you chose a lovely sweetie and let's have a look at this full diamond painting. Before we go to the view of the painting, I did want to show you my leftover diamonds. It's easy to see in this one what leftovers we have. So every colour has leftovers, some more than others. This container did worry me a bit more this colour in particular, this A colour, I only have that many left and I didn't have any spillages. So at times I was a little bit nervous that I was going to run out. I think there was another one as well, not quite as empty as this one. Here it is. So O also worried me. Um, but the majority of them... We're fine, as you can see there. Not overly generous, but at least we didn't run out of any. Look at the bright colours though. This kit has been so gorgeous. I do think this is a shame that this one was a limited edition because it was just such a delight. It's a shame not everybody could have got this one. Okay, I'm going to show you with a picture. So here is the whole picture, the way up that it's supposed to be seen. And just look at the detail in this. It is stunning. A while ago, we saw this part of the painting with Poison Ivy's hand clasping Harley Quinn's head here, her earring, the lovely heart, her hairband with those ABs and this detail, her necklace with that beautiful bow, then coming down, oh, and the lips and the eyes. This part of the painting is my absolute favorite. I just love the, the way that those ABs have picked out that detail in the middle with the rainbow swirling all the way through from top to bottom. And then coming down to Poison Ivy with that beautiful hair, again the ABs picking out the streaks in her gorgeous orange hair and Harley Quinn's hand clasping Poison Ivy's in symmetry with each other and the bracelet details with all of the spikes, really cleverly done. And then the ivy swirling through the colours in this diamond painting are beautiful from start to finish. There wasn't one area that wasn't enjoyable to diamond paint. Every part of it was fabulous. I'll turn it round so that you can see the view from widthways. So this is the landscape view of the painting because you can actually have it any way that you want. It does work but I think I will stick to it being portrait. However, when it's this way up, you can see the detail of Harley Quinn with her shoulder, the flowers all surrounding her, and her hair here with 
with those beautiful rainbow colours. The detail of the beads in her earring here. When you see it this way up, you see more detail of Harley Quinn. And then when you turn it round, you see more detail of Poison Ivy. It really is a very, very clever canvas. Let's turn it round the other way. So when the canvas is this way round, you do see more detail in Poison Ivy. So you see her lovely eyelash eyelashes and her lips picked out with that bright pink colour. The ivy going around the outside of her hair and the swish coming down. The stunning blending here into the background. I suppose you could hang it that way up as well if you preferred. However, it is designed to be that way around. I'm finishing the video with a view of my favourite part of the whole canvas. This middle part is just beautiful. I want to take this time to say thank you to everybody who's followed the progress of this diamond painting. I really do appreciate you being with me here. And I hope to see you again for my next video, whether it be Diamond Art Club or another company. I really hope that you can join me then. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. And if you've never bought from Diamond Art Club before, there is a link in my description box below if you would like to have a look in there. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your own diamond painting. Bye.